Hola, bienvenidos a esta lección. This lesson is just a vocabulary recognition uh, lesson. Uh, we're not going in-depth with the vocab, we're not doing in-depth learning, we're just getting familiar with more of the words from this chapter. So instead of rambling on with you about it, let's just get right to it. I will preface it by saying these are words that we're using as we go around downtown, as we do things, as we go out and run errands, kind of like you saw in yesterday's video. So here we go. Let's jump right to them. Some of these words you already know because we've been working with them in class already. Uh, I'll give you a second to repeat the word. First one here is el banco. El banco. Repite, el banco. Of course, it's the bank. Next one, repite, el centro. Downtown center. Okay, next one, el, el consultorio. Now that could be a doctor's office, medical office, dentist office, consultorio, place for a consultation. La estación de servicio, repite. Service station. La farmacia. Remember, no PH, no accent on the I, common mistakes. Pharmacy. When in Spanish, if you want to make the F sound, we use the letter F, interestingly enough. El supermercado. Supermarket. El buzón, mailbox, la carta, like Magna Carta, the letter. Let's go back through these again, see how you're doing on them. If you remember them, think about the word, think about what it means. Banco, centro, consultorio, estación de servicio, Farmacia, supermercado, buzón, carta. Okay, now uh, we've gone through those, familiarized ourselves with that first batch. Let's go into the next one. Echar una carta, repite, echar una carta. Okay, mail a letter, send a letter, throw a letter in the mailbox. Okay, next one. El correo. Okay, think of a person running with letters, like correr, correo, post office. That's just one way some people remember it. Okay, next one. Enviar. Repite, enviar. To send. Sello. El sello, repite. Now some places say estampilla. We'll just call it sello in this chapter. Like a seal or a stamp. La tarjeta. Okay, you probably recognize that from before. Card. Equipo deportivo. Not equipo. Equipo, repite. El equipo deportivo. Sports equipment. El palo de golf. Repite. Golf club, literally a golf stick or the stick of golf, but golf club is what we say in English. Repite. Los patines. Skates. Let's go back through these again. Refresher. See if you can remember what they are. Imagine the object. La carta. Echar una carta. El correo. Enviar, el sello, la tarjeta, el equipo deportivo, el palo de golf, en los patines. Okay, now we got la pelota, repite, la pelota. Okay, I remember this one because when I go to buy a basketball for my daughters, I got a pelota money, pelota, pelota money, the ball, pelota, pelota de tenis, pelota de basketball, la raqueta de tenis, el cepillo de dientes, we had cepillo, I'm sorry, I got to let you repeat, el cepillo de dientes, el champú, not shampoo, champoo. 
el jabón. So, la pasta dental. Dental paste, toothpaste. Se me olvidó. Now, this is a tricky word in Spanish, so that's why we have it as our own vocab word. It's sort of like it has forgotten from my brain. It's a weird way to say I forgot. Se me olvidó. It's its own vocab word because of its tricky conjugation. Se me olvidó. Okay. Cerrar. Repite. Cerrar. To close. All right. Let's go back through these one more time. Just a real quick skim. Let's see. Where do we leave off? Uh, yeah. Equipo deportivo. Repite. El equipo deportivo. No, no. We did that. Okay. Pelota. We left off with the pelota. What does it mean? Ball. Raquete de tenis. What is it? Tennis racket. Cepillo de dientes. Toothbrush. El shampoo. Shampoo. Jabón. Soap. Pasta dental. Toothpaste. Se me olvidó. I forgot. Cerrar. Okay. Cerrar was a verb for to close. It's a stem changer, by the way. Cierro la puerta, cierras la puerta, cerramos la puerta. Okay, that's the first half of the vocab for this chapter. Go back through, watch them again. Get real familiar with these words. Say them, think about them. Your assignment for this lesson is to write three sentences using these new vocab words. Buena suerte. Hasta pronto. See what I did there? I just used new vocab on you. Hasta pronto. Ciao.